This is a new game, Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. And I've got, I think it has a really excellent story behind it. It's, uh, I mean, in it. It's uh, an indie game again. Uh, I've already been in the game, and I don't know if I didn't hold escape long enough or what, but I couldn't get out of the SOB, and I couldn't find a control anywhere. There's a little segment you have to do before you get an inventory bar, and even that doesn't. Escape is how you get out, and I guess I pushed it too quick or something, but I was most frustrated. When you press New Game, you go into a load screen, which is freaking endless. And I don't think it's so much to load the game as they ran the credits in it. And it's got this really neat song, and I didn't want to cut into that or talk over it, but it just went on and on and on. Now, I have a cut of that, and I'm going to put that in this game at the be right after this. If you want to watch it, fine. If you get frustrated, by all means, God bless you, and fast forward. Because it's, uh, you know, like I said, I think the length of the beginning is, is just, I could be wrong. Maybe it took that long to load it. But anyway, here is... First off, a very long song, <laughs> and then I'll be playing, uh, and I'm going to click past it this time, but, but I'll edit in that scene, so here we go. We have Ed and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. I have seen nothing and read nothing on this. That's how I prefer to play games. Daedalic Entertainment presents, boy, you still want to be loud, don't you? In cooperation with Rondo Media, uh, we're really full of ourselves, aren't we? Harvey's New Eyes. It seems like you need to be solaced, telling from the scratch on your knee. You fell and got hurt in the process, and now you come crying to me. I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants Don't worry, my dear There is nothing to fear Just a stitch and a soon Soon it's almost as new And the cat will appear After all you have to admit It is not as severe Right here. Take care of you and up Scott, my dear. I can't stand to watch children bleed. Well, don't give me that kind of look now. Just keep going on soon, you will. See how everything will end well, though It still may depend on your skill I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants But yet needle and thread can bear dangers instead if you're clumsy and plump and dull fingers and thumbs It might just turn out bad, especially when it comes to delicate operations like that Oh, I have needle and stitch right here Take care or you'll end up scarred, my dear I can't stand to watch children bleed I guess I should revise my statement The wound is not going to heal Forget about all that I said and Work harder on your stitching skill I cater for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants 
Now you pay the bill for your lack of skill. Please do stop crying and mourning and sighing. Don't weep like a whelp that is painfully dying. I merely was trying to help. Take care or you'll end up scarred, my dear I can't stand to watch children leave. Hello, dear friends of Adventure Games. The spyware we installed on your computers tells me that many children are sitting at their screens again tonight. That's why I'll refrain from telling you the story that I had actually prepared for you. Of course, that's a real shame. It would have been such a good story. Entertaining explosions, a giant robotic opossum! But also with many offensive expressions and an inordinate amount of excessive violence. Oh, goody. The story that I'll tell you instead has a slightly different flavor. It's about Lily, the most virtuous child in the entire world. And it begins in the courtyard of a small, sleepy convent school. Not too far from the place where the giant robotic opossum is sucking the brains of innocent bystanders out through their eye sockets. But enough of that. It's a beautiful, sunny day, and Lily is raking the leaves in the yard with a cheery tune on her lips. La, 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 la. Lily, how many times do I have to tell you not to sing while working? You know very well that I hate the sound of cheerful children. These ch ch children are driving me crazy. <laughs> We're gonna love her. Where's Lucius now that I need him? Chapter 1, The Convent, in case you hadn't guessed. <gasps> oh, there you are. Is that Moloch making you rip, 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 rake leaves again? Uh-huh. Tch, how boring. And so unnecessary, too. The leaves all drift back onto the path anyway. You should just come with me instead. I'm on a treasure hunt right now, you know? Uh-uh. Well, it's your decision. You can always come to the swing tree later, when you're done here. I think I found something in the flower beds over there. Until then, see ya! Okay. Oh, sad, Lily. There are frequent reports of accidents caused by the mishandling of computer games. To minimize the risk of a crippling <laughs> deformity, we recommend that you strictly comply with all of the following safety guidelines. Do you want to play the tutorial? Why, yes I do. Thank you. You've decided to play the tutorial. That's very smart of you. And because you paid attention, you also know that with all these leaves here, the convent garden needs a good raking. Lily has already picked up the rake. Accordingly, the cursor now shows the picture of a rake. To discover the spots where Lily can rake, simply press the space bar. Why don't you just try it out right now? Okay, simply press the space. I, I'm getting just a ton. I'm trying to tape in the daytime and it isn't working. <laughs> Okay, to discover the spots where Lily can rank, simply press the space bar. Why don't you just try it out right now? Well, that sounds like a hell of an idea. Would you look at that? The red eyes show which items can be used. Apparently, there are three piles of leaves that Lily can use with the rake. Just move the cursor over one of the piles until the name of the item appears next to it. You can now make the move with a left mouse click. But be careful. Accidents can happen so quickly. Well, give me my cursor back, you person. Hot diggity! You've taken the <laughs> first step without giving anyone a deep flesh wound. <laughs> <laughs> but your work isn't done yet. Finish the task for Mother Superior. It can't be that hard, can it? Okay, uh, they're going back to where they were, you silly little girl. 
You better intervene in this or I'm just going to beat you. Okay, now those are there. You're just going to be a dick about this, aren't you? And they're going back to where they were. Okay, you are being a dick about this. Give me my cursor back. I'm going to beat you with it. Oh, that's exit the tutorial. Well, we don't want that. Well, are you going to tell me what to do? Whoa, that's a never-ending task. You Maybe you have to come up with something else to complete this job. Press the space bar again. Maybe there's another place where you can rake. You're a piece of pickle. Okay, we could rake on the stone. Let's do that. <gasps> What's Gracious. that noise outside? Yes, it is. How about some more of it? Lily, now I've had it up to here. I guess I overestimated you once again. You're yes. not even fit to rake leaves. Oh, it doesn't matter. I have two new tasks for you. The flower beds in the backyard have to be dug up again. Can you manage that? Uh-huh. I doubt it. But we'll see. And while you're in the backyard, the swing tree is infested by termites. Come up with something to get rid of them for good. So, one more time for the really <laughs> clueless. First, dig up the flower beds. Second, get rid of the termites infesting swing tree. You'll be very sorry if you don't do a good job. I'm sorry now. Lily has finished raking. She's no longer holding the rake in her hand, but she's still got it with her. If you would like to use it again, you can find it in Lily's inventory. Move the mouse cursor to the lower right edge of the screen to open the inventory. Be careful you don't get your finger caught. Amputations are such <laughs> unhappy affairs. Okay. Good. Oh, now, wow. click on the rake symbol with the left mouse button to pick up the rake again. You can now use the rake with other objects at any time, even with other inventory items. When you're done, use the right mouse button to carefully put the rake back into the inventory. Oh, okay, I did have, okay. Do I have to give it? Oh, I guess I just have it, okay. And use the right mouse. Now that Lily has been relieved of her first task, it's time to get familiar with the basic game mechanics. Press the left mouse button to send Lily wherever you want. Whenever Lily can leave a location, the cursor changes into an error. First, follow Edna in the backyard. The exit can be found at the right edge of the monitor. But be careful that the error is sharp. Okay. To the backyard. That when doing garden work, remember, stay alert. The cursor changes whenever Lily can interact with an object. Most objects can be examined. If so, an eye will appear on the right half of the cursor. Click with the right mouse button to execute this action. Why don't you try it on the compost barrel? Okay. So we have an eye on the right side. The yard waste was rotting away leisurely in the composting bin. A paradise for maggots and spiders. <laughs> Lily couldn't stop watching the fascinating activity in there. There are many items that you can interact with. Whenever an item can be used, a corresponding symbol is shown in the left half of the cursor. For example, you could suggest that Lily uses the tie swing. But whether that is really such a good idea, Okay. And we have a little st 
stop hand on there. The tire swing was dangling invitingly above the chasm from a termite. Ah! Well, do you want me to do this or not, you a hole? For example, you could suggest. Okay, I hope I don't die here. Lily would have loved to have played on the completely harmless tire swing. Uh-uh. That's why she immediately climbed on the termite-infested tree. Uh-uh. At least she would have done that, but apparently she preferred the risk of getting into deep trouble as soon as the player signed off. Luckily, that turned out well. Next to the hand that stands for use, take, and eat drink is also a speech bubble for talk. The computer automatically selects the right icon. This ensures that Lily neither puts her hand in a hornet's nest, nor eats thumbtacks. Seeing as you're already here, have a chat with Lily's friend Edna. She will certainly be pleased. Okay, what about the turn? Ah, getting ahead of myself, I'm sorry. Okay, we have a little uh, talk bubble there. What you up to, Edna? Hey, Lily! Did you finally get out of doing your stupid raking chore? Uh-huh. Very good. Then you finally got time to go treasure hunting with me? Sure. Uh -huh. No. What? Did you get even more chores to do? Uh-huh. That's so unfair. Then maybe we can still find a way for you to help me. That would be cool. Lily can discuss various topics. These are displayed as symbols at the bottom of the screen. The meaning of each symbol is displayed when you move the mouse over them. Any dialogue can be ended with the red X at any time. First, select the topic, Chores Assigned by Mother Superior. I guess that says Mother Superior if, you, if it was all complete. What do you have to do for Mother Superior now? Don't tell me you have to scrape off her warts with a pumice stone oh! again. I'm still finding crumbs in our bunk from last time. Oof. Lily can sometimes expand on a topic. In this case, she can talk about her two new tasks. But you can also use the arrow to return to the first level of dialogue and choose another topic. Return to the first level and end the dialogue with X to close the tutorial. Or you can talk a while with Edna. I can't teach you anything more anyway. Have fun playing. Okay. Well, I guess we're on our own. Uh. Uh. She told you to get rid of the termites on the swing tree, right? Yep. Uh huh. <sighs> It was just a question of time. Does she even realize how hard it was to collect them all? <laughs> I even broke into the firefighters museum to get the large red <sighs> ones. And then all the trouble I went to teaching them tricks. They can already do a polonaise if you lay a trail of jelly. I wanted to teach them the cha-cha next. Ugh, <sighs> what the hell. Maybe you can relocate them instead of blasting them out or whatever else it was you had planned. I'd even help you, but I've run out of jelly. I love Edna. Uh Okay. Uh, wait, Lily. This is an especially hard spot. Oh, what a drag. This is ruining all my calluses. And it took me so long to nurture them. <laughs> These flower beds could really use some digging. Uh-huh. Don't tell me that's exactly what Mother Superior ordered you to do. Uh-huh. But that's fabulous. And you'll be able to help me dig up the treasure after all. You don't even have a choice. You've been kind of told to by the Lord. Oh, All no. we still need is a shovel. The shovel, Lily. We'll never dig up the treasure without a shovel. Um, uh, I don't know where we can find a shovel either. I'd imagine they're kept in the cellar. Now we just need to find a way to get down into the cellar. You can't walk through walls by any chance, can you? <laughs> <laughs> we really have to teach you how to do that one of these days. But first you should concentrate on the shovel. It has top priority. Okay, Edna. Caught me in mid soda break here. Um uh, I'm I never played a game quite like this, so I'm kind of uh at a lot oh I have to get out of this to be able to do anything. Okay, and I Okay, evidently to save your game you just go into save games and put one in it and save it. That's what I did. I hope that I I didn't find anything that says save game. Boy, these people love their damn names. 
I'm so used to any games not giving you, oh boy, there's just a ton of saves here. Uh, I'm so used to just doing basically hardcore rules where you either, either if you if you mess up you eat it <laughs> okay uh, I do like the game and I think it'll move faster once we get into it and it's just as always I play in big blocks normally of time and then I chop it up into pieces so I I never know where I'm going to end and I might just I might chop off an early piece and stick this on the end of it so you kind of know what I've got to say and where we're going. And, you know, not that there's much to say about that. We're going to continue from wherever we are. Having a little bit of difficulty with, I'm not used to the point and click mechanism. Evidently, this is more of the early mechanism they used in games. And uh, the clues, as, as always, I'm having some trouble with. But it looks it looks good, so uh, we'll I'll be back and we'll do some more and we'll have good fun. Catch y'all later. Hi, Pie Wacket. Hi, Pie Wacket. You want to hear the buggies? Don't like buggies. Nobody likes buggies, Pie Wacket. <laughs>